Where do you think it's going and how can photographers of all shapes and sizes and skill levels utilize NFTs for their art, for their businesses? How, how What would you say? That's a great question. Just like photography in general, there's so many different aspects of it that make it fun. So you've got portraits, you've got wedding photography, you've got fine art landscapes, you've got travel photography, social media influencing. It has so many different avenues. And I think 99% of those things can be adapted to NFT spaces. So I've taken more of a social media and fine art approach to it where I sell a NFT and then you get a high resolution print sent to you that you can then use for wall art, right? If you want to use it for the wallpaper of your computer or if you want to send it to a print gallery and get it printed and blown up on aluminum on your wall for your wall art, you can do both of those things. I'm also coming out with a travel guide for Alaska if you're going in the winter, places to go, things to do. So I'm I'm taking more of a holistic approach to it. But you could very well put up a single one of one for, you know, X amount of dollars or even as an auction piece. And that could be just a fine art print. And you don't need to have anything else associated with it. With portraits, I think you could do the same thing where you, you could, you know, I think I have a lot of ideas as far as like the NFT space. I think with photography, one of the things that could be revolutionary is localized NFTs where you could say you're from a certain area. And you could find somebody online who did portraiture or anything like that. And you could buy it as an NFT and then they could go take that portrait for you. I don't know the the space is just so new and there's so many different aspects of photography that you could incorporate into NFTs. I think you'd sell classes. I think that would be another huge one for the photography space. You know, I have a couple of key things of advice. One, connect with a developer, connect with somebody where you can be a bigger fish in a small pond, right? We, we look at like Rarible and we look at OpenSea and it's just such a large market that it's so hard to make a dent. One of the things I really liked about the Stacks ecosystem was that I could make a name for myself relatively quickly in the space because there wasn't a whole lot of competition. So, you know, being introduced to Plutus and like understanding I had, I had actually, we had talked in person because I wanted the emotion behind his sentences. I wanted to know, you know, this space is new, it's exciting, but what, what can I do? What can I do for my community to make it better? The other thing that I would say for new photographers is to look and to listen and to spend time understanding what the community wants and what you are able to give. If you are a portrait photographer, how can I adapt portrait photography to the NFT space and make it desirable for a large number of people in this community. Yeah, just doing research, connecting with other photographers, huge. Celebrate each other's successes. This isn't a competition, right? There's enough for all of us to be here, (laughs) you know? So connecting with other people that are in the space that do what you do or are adjacent to what you do and asking for their advice, asking for connections, being friendly, being personable, you know, the things that brought you your business in the real world are the things that will get you your business in NFTs.